Today I'm going nuclear, and I'm gonna need you to do it. And what safer spot to do it than on the moon? All right, Striker Jones, use that big gun to- Oh my god! He's just shooting missiles at these poor soul red balloons! Striker Jones does not know the meaning of the word restraint. However, I need him to kick it up a notch because I'm about to take three damage from red balloons. <laughs> Don't worry, Striker Jones, I'll place a cannon to help you out. And ideally next, I'd like to be able to buy a mortar. So I just have to last long enough, please. It is a cruel fate watching that one balloon spin, 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 and then do damage. Oh, but it's fine because I was able to buy it, finally. And I'll set the mortar in the crater. Because balloons will do three full turns in the crater, which means my mortar monkey gets three good options to try and smack them. I see no flaw in this strategy. However, what I'm kind of worried about, though, is if something like a black balloon shows up, I'm not going to be able to pop it. Do you have something that lets me pop black balloon? Wait, here it is. And suddenly, I am safe. Black balloons are resistant to explosions, which means it's my natural born enemy. I'm trying to go nuclear here, game. Don't throw any of those at me. And signal flare makes them lose their camo? Huh, looks like I'm about to have no weaknesses. I'll buy another mortar monkey. Because all I have to do is just give these guys rapid reload and oh wait heavy shells also pop black balloons well maybe i should just be going mortar monkeys instead of cannons huh and for the sake of fun upgrades i'm gonna buy a banana tower oh wait i forgot to buy signal flare no that one camo balloons is gonna get away that's fine we live and we learn on to the next round so far balloons aren't able to escape the first crater which is good because that means i can really focus all my upgrades on other things right now however i will be buying signal flare just in case some more camo balloons decide to try and sneak on through. Oh yeah, you know, like these camo balloons. Thankfully, my signal flare just eats those alive, and let's give you rapid reload. Now I'm super safe. I'll put heavy shells on this, and wait, artillery battery lets me shoot three times as fast? Oh, well, that seems very, very strong. So the money is starting to come in from my banana farms. I'm able to buy these little banana plantations, which means I'll be getting more money very soon. And then the true upgrades can commence. And wait, Striker Jones is buffing my towers? He was the perfect pick for this, huh? Now it's round 40 and normally I'd be stoked. However, this is Moab round. So I'm going to make this the Moab Mauler. And then if I put another one here, that should do a decent amount of damage. And hopefully... These guys will be able to make it work. Striker, use your ability to freeze it here for a bit. Okay, and oh, good. Oh my god, I was worried. I was worried, but no, it looks like we're gonna be A-OK. -okay. Yeah, 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 there's a big balloon I need to go beat. Well, nice, so at least I know I'm able to beat one tiny blue Moab. It's a good thing there's not infinitely stronger ones out there, huh? I guess my cannons are truly gonna be my little Moab busters. So that should be what I focus for with these guys. And with the amount of money I'm getting per round right now, I'm able to make a lot of these things, actually. I think one more Moab Mauler right here, and I'll probably be okay for round, what is that, 500 I'm going to, I think? And now we place a bunch of Mortar Monkeys. I'll go the top path for this one, and this one says it gets enhanced stuff if I do Bernie stuff? Sure. Wait, this pops five layers of balloons at once? Oh my god. It's like each Mortar Monkey route is just better than the last one somehow, and I can finally do this! And now he shoots three times as fast, <laughs> look at that! <laughs> Even in normal speed, you can see that he's just dropping bomb after bomb after bomb. Maybe I just need to constantly go into artillery battery. Overwhelm them with the amount of bombs I'm able to drop at one given time. And now I can buy the big one as well. Well, I guess now I should just buy a bunch of mortars and increase my firepower exponentially. Bigger blast and faster reload. Faster reload and increased accuracy. I will have a force to not be reckoned with. Or is it a force you want to reckon with? They're dead either way, it doesn't matter. Just look at the sheer amount of explosions, oh my god. And I guess I can make these guys Moab assassins, huh? Because that also increases attack range? Wow, yeah, that's very, very good. All right, Moab assassin, come on in. Six times damage for the tier five? That's absolutely amazing. And suddenly I have four Moab assassins. <laughs> As long as I don't see a single balloon leave this first crater, I know I'm gonna be okay. But the moment that happens, fear will be coursing through my heart. Oh man, this is a lot of balloons that just funneled in to only be just instantly killed. Oh my gosh. It feels good to be powerful, I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh wait, this is the big Moab. Use all six of my Moab assassins and it's gone! <laughs> Oh my gosh, that thing was on the screen for maybe three seconds. And hang on, wait, did I just see that right? Striker Jones has an ability that resets all bomb cooldowns, which means I technically have 12 Moab assassins so long as that's up. Striker Jones, have I ever told you I love you, my friend? So with everything going on that I have now, I really only need to save up money. 
because everything is still just dying as fast as it possibly can. And then I can make the upgrades like another artillery battery. That's like nine mortars just flying in at once, plus my other four that are doing insane damage. You know, maybe I should let the balloons have a chance, but that's more fun my way. Oh, and now I can buy shattering shells. Balloons just get stripped of any special property. They're all equal in the eyes of the explosions. There is no one special. So I've officially upgraded all of them to as max as they can be. Now I just need tier fives. And this is the first tier five that I want. It rains a hell of balloons across the entire screen. Are you kidding me? Why would I not want that? But you know, at, now that I think about it, the six times damage to Moab seems pretty good to me. So Moab Eliminator it is. Oh my gosh, it's just erasing balloons even more now. There will be one test coming up here shortly that will be the true ID on if this is good or not. Just have to wait for the next round because it's ZOMG round, baby. All right, so it's got its nose on the screen and it's pretty cracked to use my Moab Eliminator ability. Oh, it busted. And then my five others. Go ahead and enter Hellworld for me. Thank you. <laughs> It's so strong. It's so very strong. Now I have 10 rounds to prepare for my next test because DDTs are the bane of my existence. And this makes my fourth banana research facility and I'm actually going to stop there because this is going to net me 6,000 around just, you know, doing nothing. Which means by the time the next round finally rolls around, or maybe even a little sooner. All right, put something on my screen. I want to see popping on action. Wait, this is a good test. Am I able to fend off ZOMGs and Moabs without using any abilities? So far, it's looking like a yes. Unfortified ZOMGs will not make it past my first crater. Or maybe I'm speaking too soon. That one's kind of doing pretty well. Uh, guys, you'll you'll pop it, right? You're going to pop the pop the BFBs right now. The Moabs, please. Hello. Yes. Thank you. Oh, OK. Test successful. All right, but now I want to see popping off. Balloons are on the screen with the ZOMG. Balloons can get off. No, they're still just hanging out. It's like a perma stun. Does Striker Jones reset that though? He does. Oh, so it's a perma stun ability and they could just die to everything over here. OK, round 90s here. I just realized I can't hit DDTs. DDTs have camo, so my bomb shooters won't touch them. Support monkey village it is. And I'll make one for you guys over here too. But now that I have the gift of sight, I'll also make one more Moab assassin. Now let's see, I should be able to pop DDTs now, ideally, maybe, hopefully. I guess my mortars might have been able to get them before, but I'm a very cautious man and this is a very dangerous game I'm playing. Oh yeah, they're actually getting past. Hang on. Uh, can I use my abilities, please? I didn't need to, actually. Wait, my mortars just took care of them. I was overreacting for nothing. What are some big bad DDTs compared to me? Merely child's play. And I just passed 30k, which means it's time to buy this tier 5. And I guess there's still another tier 5 bomb shooter I can buy that does big damage to Moab class. That is very expensive, however, and I'm very broke. And there's a lot going on here, guys. Hang on. Uh, kill it. Use my abilities. Oh, wow. Yeah, that took care of everything. So everything is so far so good. I'm a little worried whenever these guys come into play, but if I use pop and all, they can get stuck in the center and then I'm able to take them out. I believe in my own ability to accomplish what has never been done before. Nuclear warfare. <laughs> and wait, that round, let me get it. Balloon crush, tier five. Go my men, remember what we're fighting for. Round 97 and balloons are not appearing on the screen because of this guy? It stuns the Moabs. And then my just Moab Eliminator does its name. It's right there. Wow, that's amazing. What a good tower. Is that even going to work on the bad balloon? Well, I'm about to find out. Round 99. Oh, DDTs. DDTs. Use pop and all. And then this ability. And then this ability. And then redo this ability. And then hit him with that ability. I still live in fear. So what I should do is make a couple more mortar monkeys that shoot in the other thingy just in case balloons happen to leak all the way through. I believe the word for someone like me is called genius. I've done all I can to prepare. I'm going to freeze it here. Oh, my ability didn't work. Okay, use all six of my abilities. Go. I just need to do as much damage as I humanly possibly can in this amount of time. Okay, I need to just constantly keep using abilities. It's going to luckily spin around in this thing three times, and it looks like it's about to break. The DDTs that are going to come out of it, though, kind of horrify me. But hopefully, I'll be able to break them because they're not fortified. Yes, good work. Take care of the ZOMGs left. I'm about to get a bunch of Moab Assassins back. Go. Six Moab Assassins and that one. Stun them there they're permanently stunned there i think they're literally not able to move because of everything i have 
<laughs> Nuclear power works. Striker Jones, I love you. Oh my God, you gave double damage. That's why I was so strong. I didn't realize. Uh, turns out I was only strong enough to last two more rounds after that. <laughs> Whatever, let's go blow some more stuff up. 